taking aim, this is what the then Ukrainian government called an anti-terrorism operation. But to protesters and to much of the world watching snipers from rooftops, this was a massacre. Now the interim Ukrainian government says not only was former President Viktor Yanukovych aware of the orders for snipers to act, but that those orders were made under his direct leadership. Planned under the cover of being an anti-terrorist operation, it was in fact the organization of the mass killing of people and was conducted directly and under the direct supervision of former President Yanukovych. The three bloody days in Kiev's Independence Square in February were the culmination of three months of anti-government protests, sparked by now ousted President Yanukovych's decision to shun the EU, favouring ties with Russia. Over those three days, snipers had taken up prime positions in buildings overlooking Independence Square. As things began to get more violent, they began to shoot, and the current Ukrainian government says those snipers were picking off protesters, citing one example where a single machine gun was responsible for the deaths of eight different people. In a double blow to protesters, Ukrainian authorities say the FSB, Russian security agents, helped Yanukovych plan and carry out the assault. Those who witnessed the bloodshed say that was evident. I'm not surprised with this information, but he is one of those people, I think. But uh, not the only one and not uh, the most important one. Don't believe that he didn't know about, about this, about this shooting, about this killing of these people. I think he's, he's a liar. Yanukovych has previously denied issuing orders for snipers to shoot, and Moscow has blamed far-right ultranationalist groups. Empty denials to those still grieving reminded daily of the sacrifice. Kim Vanel Al Jazeera, Kiev, Ukraine.